Hi everyone, let's get right to it. We here at Real Catholic TV are ecstatic. We're actually in a party mood here at the studio. More than one million people, that's right, one million people have viewed a video we produced just six months ago and posted on YouTube. We're gonna show you the video in case you missed it in just a second, but this is phenomenal news. You see, million hit videos on YouTube aren't usually about very serious topics. Mainly they're fun, goofy things like the Numa Numa guy or some skater doing awesome flips or something. But over a million people have tuned in and emailed this video to friends and family because they care about what Obama is trying to do to the Catholic Church. So we thought it would be cool to take a look back at this video and see how relevant it still is. Turns out, it's dead on. Take a look. I'll be back during the video with a couple of update comments. Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. The secret, if it ever was one, isn't a secret anymore. Obama is steering America on a straight course to socialism. The nationalization of banks, the takeover of the automotive sector, the soon-to-be-unveiled socialized medicine plan, and on and on. But there's an obstacle to Obama's socialism, the Catholic Church. Over a hundred years ago, when socialism first began appearing on the world stage, Every pope has roundly condemned it, beginning with Leo XIII straight through to John Paul II. The main underlying reason is that socialism ultimately denies the central truth of Christianity that man needs God. Socialism sets up man as God, striving to make a utopia, a heaven here on earth. A better way to understand the man as God concept is simply this. In reality, the state is God. The state, run by a few stuck-up, arrogant, elite tyrants who are convinced of their own superiority. And if that sounds familiar, it should. This is what Hitler tried with National Socialism. It's what Lenin and Stalin tried with the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR. But the church stands in solid opposition to any view of man that denies his origin and destiny in God. For this reason, Obama and his henchmen cannot ignore the Catholic Church. Their goal is simple, eliminate the Church's opposition by neutralizing the Church. Once you see things in this light, it all becomes brilliantly clear. This is why Obama surrounded himself with Catholic traitors during the campaign. This is why he set up an internal campaign commission to garner Catholic votes. This is why the Archbishop of Denver was not invited to the Democratic Convention. This is why no Catholic cleric was invited to the inauguration. This is why Obama has peppered his cabinet and filled other administration posts with pro-abortion Catholics. This is why he continues to try and foist pro-abortion Catholics on the Vatican as ambassadors. This is why he wants to pigeonhole Catholic hospitals by getting rid of the conscience clause for health care workers. This is why he gives speeches at Georgetown. This is why he plans to go to Notre Dame and appear on the most famous Catholic stage in America. This is why he has cozied up to renegade left-wing Catholic groups like Catholics in Alliance for the Common Good and Catholics United, each financed by enemies of the church like George Soros. Every one of those points is still correct today. Obama detests faithful Catholics, just like every tyrant in history has. And if he needs to initiate some public or private persecution of the church based on some trumped-up garbage, he wouldn't think twice about it. Obama's master plan is to divide the Catholic Church and splinter it so badly that it becomes an ineffective voice against his march to socialism. In reality, the Catholic Church is his major opposition. Obama knows history. He knows that each time socialism has failed, the Catholic Church has led the offensive. Just ask the Kremlin how effective the Catholic Church is against socialism run amok. This is why no Catholic can support this man, his policies, or his agenda, no matter how Catholic-friendly they look. He is out to destroy his opposition, and he is using the oldest and surest trick in the playbook, divide and conquer, divide the bishops from the flock. Look, his master plan is evil, his policies are evil, and the means he is employing to advance his agenda are evil, no matter how in line with Catholic teaching they might appear every now and then. In the end, it is the destruction of the church that Obama must accomplish in order to grab the brass ring. So stand firm, Catholics, and rush to the battle lines. No matter how this latest battle turns out, we know who wins the war. I'm Michael Voris. 
Well, if it wasn't clear then, six months ago, it should be blindingly clear now. The time for Catholics pussyfooting around with this guy is over. He is a liar and a murderer. He stood in front of Americans in Congress and said abortion is not covered in the health care plan. Liar! Planned Parenthood just sent out a letter to their supporters saying how happy they are that abortion is covered. He used millions of weak and ill-informed Catholics to leverage himself into office, and now he's going to whipsaw around and use that presidential power to crush the church in any way he can. Abortion, contraception in schools, advancing homosexuality, breaking the financial backs of families with untold trillions in taxes, and on and on and on. This man is an aloof, dictatorial, murderous, lying tyrant, and if we don't wake up and see him for what he is, don't bother complaining when his anti-Catholic plan shifts into full gear. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber, become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.